Um, right now, with the political divide, I think it is possible for America to have a Hitler type of individual um, get in charge get power one day and when I make when I make um, predictions or or try to connect dots is because I look I look at history. I look at human nature and just because just because we have better technology back than back then and we we might have changed some of our moral standards as humans compared to back then doesn't mean that um, the human humans don't repeat uh, past mistakes. A lot of people don't even look at history. So I just, you know, what's happening right now uh, happened in Berlin, but to even a greater extent when it comes to, um, I don't know. You can do your own research. I don't. I don't think I could talk about it on YouTube. Um, basically, people selling themselves that are underage. Um, so, what happens is when one side, either the right or left, pulls the ban. And like so tight, you're gonna have the other side, like it's gonna snap back. Um, and I think that people are really, really getting annoyed with the left. Really getting annoyed with these people. This is why I always make fun of them. First off, with my with my videos, I'll never get, I'll never go viral, I'll never gain traction because I can't just make the same content over and over again like other creators do. I can't do it, and I like to have the creative freedom to be able to do what I want. So I'll never have gained that type of traction, but. Um, why, I always make fun of these people on the left because they're the people they're the people that are in charge. They are the authority. Um, and I like to rebel, rebel. You know, back when I, back when I was a part of the left. I rebelled against the, the the right, the the conservatives. But my stance for most things really hasn't changed. I've changed some things, but I'm pretty much aligned with you know freedom of speech, things like that, right to bear arms, things like that. But they they don't like that. The people on the left don't like that, and they're pushing other narratives that are really they're really going against um, a lot of moral standards. Like these people are almost like defending pe pedos. That's where they're getting to that point. And then you have all the corporations getting their back, having their back. And the way that social media or the internet is evolving, it's like people, people and their fucking feelings, man. I swear to God, there's, I swear to God, people and their fucking feelings. Like people bash the fuck out of me on my on my YouTube videos or or 
whatever. Like, then that's cool. I don't have no fucking problem with that. Well, I'm not sitting here fucking crying about it. I'm not deleting their comments. I'm not reporting them. People, if, you're, if your feelings really get that hurt, you shouldn't be on the fucking internet. You should just be in a fucking safe space somewhere. Just, you know, and, and, and there's no reason why these companies can't make it so, like, it's a G-rated, G-rated thing for you. So you don't have to, see, so, so the, the algorithm doesn't have people like me show up because their feelings get hurt so bad. Seriously, like, there's rated R movies that are more explicit on YouTube that you can that you can buy or rent that are far more worse, like Saw, like all that, as opposed to me just telling truths or um, they'll label me as misinformation. I'm I'm so tired of I'm so tired of hate speech. I'm tired of words being deleted. I'm tired of being told what I can and can't say. You know, I'm respectful in different different areas. My videos, they say you gotta be 18 and up. I always put that. So they're not for kids. Well, maybe YouTube should expand that so people can put that they are um, offended and, and I don't pop up. Just it's, it's so dumb. Like the whole thing is so dumb. But I understand what they're trying to do. They're trying to control a narrative, and that's why they don't like people like me. Um, because they don't want the truth out. They don't want people to know the truth. They want people to stay asleep. So if somebody comes up and starts talking truths, they they shut them down. Like. MGTOW, they shut that down. Um, uh, red pill. Like, I, I <laughs> the, the, um, I look up hashtags on TikTok and like red pill, you can't find that. You can't find MGTOW. And then it's like, this is hate speech. Like, no, it's not hate speech. Like, I guess Reddit yesterday is saying that, uh, you can't say groomer. Like, that's hate speech. Like, Dude, enough with your fucking bullshit, man. Enough of it. Like, if 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 I if I stumble across somebody saying the N word in their videos, I won't watch their videos, or I'll or I'll block them. You know what I mean? Like, why can't why can't people just like take responsibility for themselves? Why is it what why why are people relying on on the on the government or systems to be their parent? Like I need I need somebody to monitor me. I need to have um, I can't have outside opinion other people with outside opinions. I can't I can't question uh, certain elections. I can't I can't question certain medical procedures on here I can't even say them because I'll, I'll I'll get I'll get deleted off of YouTube isn't that messed up I can't even I can't even question and that, that's that's ridiculous like where are we headed with this 1984 that's where we're headed and I'm not gonna be a part of that it's it, it's gonna get People, people are just going to get sick and tired and you're going to have a complete opposite. And you know what's happening too? Like people need to understand this. Like you and you people in Silicon Valley and people in California. Um, the only thing really holding California up is the tech industry and your agriculture, of course, and your ports. Um, and, and tech's getting hit hard right now. A lot of people are getting laid off. Um, if it, we don't have to, we don't have to have this to survive, but we, we do need food to survive. 
So, like, they can control this all they want, but if everybody just stops using this, then it will be gone. It'll be gone. Um, I just think that people are too sensitive nowadays. That's what I think. I think people don't live... I don't think enough suffering is in people's lives. So they don't live in reality. Like these celebrities are perfect examples. I make fun. I've made a couple of videos like in. They really didn't do too good on either platform because like. Uh, um, maybe the hashtags or the algorithm just didn't pick them up or whatever, but. It really showed a lot of these celebrities don't have any creative ability and they rely on, on directors and um, s like screenwriters and they don't do anything for themselves. So they live in a complete bubble with everything and, and they're isolated too. So they don't understand the struggle of people. They don't understand the struggle of which I don't right. I kind of I kind of relate, but I don't relate to that point where they got suicide nets in some um, places in 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 China uh, for for factory workers because they they feel like there's no point of their life basically, and they and they want to they want to off themselves. Um, that's that's crazy. Um, People, people need to understand, like, this, this, this system that we're in right now that it's such an outdated system where you have to slave away doing a stupid job for basic resources, which I, I'm not a communist, I understand, like, you can't just have housing for everybody. You have to have main. You have to maintain it. You can't just put homeless people in a house and think it's going to maintain itself. People have to do the work to get the resources. I just think that. I just think that there's scarcity. That happens purposely to drive up value in the resource, whatever resource to make people work more for the system because we, we work and yeah, you know, we, we get taxed like 15%, 20, 25% whatever, whatever your tax bracket is, and then you pay all these extras on sales tax, property tax, and all these other taxes, and you end up paying like 35, 30, 35, 40% of your wages on taxes. And, and, and you're not really seeing much of a benefit in your, in your, in your communities. And then you see these people who are supposed to be in charge of making things better of our communities, not doing anything about it. They, they take our, they don't take our tax dollars, but they print out money and send it to different countries. And then they use our tax dollars to pay interest on the money that they printed. So that's what's happening. There's no, there's no balanced budget. These people on the left are like, these people on the left are, are, are so they're like, they're, they're, they're no, they're the same people that, um, were slave masters. They're like, they're literally the same thing. They want to tax you to death. They haven't changed at all. The only thing that's changed is like, it's not blatantly in your face anymore. It's hidden. Um, and I'm not one of these people that are, what what you have to understand about me is I'm not Republican. 
I might talk a lot of smack on the left. The reason, like I said, the reason why I do is because they're the, they're the authority. But I know damn well if it was the other way around and the right was in charge for long enough, they would do the same thing. They would limit speech. They would probably get rid of cuss words. They would do, they would, you know what I mean? Like it would go the other way. So like possibly in 10 years from now, if the right takes over, I might be rebelling against them. Uh, you know what I mean? And it's, it's right now it's so much easier to make fun of people on the left than it is on the right. What, what am I going to do about people on the right? with like politicians like say like this would be my video i'm gonna do this and then and then if you elect me i'm gonna do this and then show them not doing anything when they get elected i mean th that's that's the video like there's nothing i can really make fun of on the on the right right now besides being two-faced and stuff like that when i'm talking about i'm talking about like uh, MAGA supporters, I'm talking about them, populist, there's not really much to make fun of, um, like, the conservatives, they're, they're, they're pretty, they're pretty boring people, there's not really much, they're not really flying buoyant, they're not, they don't really put themselves out there, um, there's only so much I can do, but the people on the left, they're just, completely ridiculous right now and I can just like I can what I do with my videos is is I do make it hyperbolic somewhat I exaggerate I exaggerate and then I uh I blur the lines with reality because some of it some of it is real some of it is real and then they'll say oh it's 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 right wing propaganda narrative. No, it's like like I'm trying to like with my videos. I use comedy. Some of them are funny, some of them are. But the base of my videos is try to sh to show a message. That's the base of my videos. Like whether whether they're cringe or whatever. Um, that's besides the point. The point is the message behind it. And I and if you go back, you can see I've made videos saying that like what they want right now is right versus left. So we ignore who's really in charge. Um that's what the people the elites that are in charge, they want us to fight each other. They want us divided. And I made a I made a video making fun of that. Did it do very well? No, it didn't do very well. What what does well? Well, it, making fun of Democrats and and until that doesn't really do well anymore, then you know I'm not gonna. And it's easy. It's easy to make fun of them. Um. And the funny thing too is like when these people on the left or on my comments are like, "Oh, this is right wing comedy, so lame." This is so crazy. Uh, dude, I wonder why. I wonder why. Maybe it's because of the environment that, that we're put in. That we have to walk on eggshells. What should I say? We pe People people like me. I'm not a part of the right. I'm not a label. Um, but. The environment is so toxic. And you have to like. Watch what you say because people get their feelings hurt so easy. Even the dumbest things and, and you'll get reported and banned. Because of like a tiny group of people. Oh no. So so a whole mass amount of people, their opinions don't matter. But this little tiny group of people, man, their opinions are way, their feelings are way more important than the mass group of people. Isn't that crazy? That's why they're trying to cause the the, the the divide. You know what's happening too? What I, what I want to say too. What's happening and with the youth, I think. When you try to, like in the left, left is so, like it's so funny seeing like things, similarities on both sides. 
But when the left complains about Christians pushing their values and their and their beliefs on them, once they don't, they just talk about it. They're not like, you have to do this or else you get banned. They don't do that. Uh, they might get kicked out of churches. I don't know. But you know what I'm saying? They're not, like, forcing. They're not forcing. But the people on the left, this... This, this this freak show circus group that is being ultra protected um, right now. You have to, and they're pushing their 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 values on everybody. But they claim they 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 they're being propped up on a pedestal and being protected from everybody else. But they but 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 aren't we supposed to all be equal, treated equal? That's not happening. Um, and then they say that people like me got privilege. <laughs> that's, that's a funny thing. Um, um, where was I going with that? Um, what's happening is since they're pushing their agenda on people so hard, it's causing people to rebel, rebel and hate them and see them. And this is what scares me about um, these people's, um, the ideology of these people where they, they, they push like this race narrative, like everybody's like, especially like the labeling like white men as like the white, the, the devil or, uh, racist. Like, like, it's just like hearing the word racist is like so fucking it's so dumb. Every time I hear that, I'm just like, and it's unfortunate for when, when there's real racism, but people just take everything and say that it's racist now and it just totally, totally, um, devalues the actual meaning of it to the point where people are just like, dude, what I'm trying to say is like, is, is you're going to have. What's unfortunate is you're going to have these, um, these white people who aren't racist, who end up just becoming racist because, um, or anti, um, something else. I can't say because I don't want to get banned. Um, they're becoming, um, anti against them because. Um, they're rebelling against it and, and they're, th they're going to think, well, if, if you're calling me this anyway, then I might as well be it. Yeah. It's like, I remember like, here's an, here's an analogy. You keep on saying somebody's cheating on you over and over again. And then eventually they're just going to be like, dude, then I might as well do it since you already think I'm a cheating on you. So I'm just going to do it. So that's, that, that's, that's what's happening. That's what's so like, we're going backwards. If people, if, if there wasn't all this division with race crap right now, which I'm not saying that there isn't, um, circumstances where there, there has been on, on, on any race. It's not just labeled to one race that has dealt with, um, dealt with that. Um, a lot of these people who are racist, who are older, like they're going to die soon. And we could, we could have really progressed past all this and moved forward. But people like, I guess, want to be stuck in the past. And I really just don't relate to a lot of people. I really don't like, I don't walk around all day thinking I'm a white man. I'm a white man. I'm a white man. I don't think like that. I like, for instance, do you think that I would feel more comfortable in a group of people who have the same type of culture beliefs as I do, but I'm the only white person in the group? Or do you think I'm going to feel com more comfortable with a bunch of communists, uh, but they're all white, you know, um, I'm going to feel more comfortable with the people who have share the same beliefs as me. 
and get back into this slave factory. 10 hours and damn 105 degrees again. There's no end in sight for relief. But yeah, I talk about this type of stuff in my book, so yeah.